I'm a Japanese novelist and uh, I'm an e-book publisher named of the BBB Breakthrough Bandwang Books. This time, I will be introducing an author named Ami Sakurai and her work recruits her god. So today, I'd like to share the moment with her. Nice to meet you. My name is Ami Sakurai. I'm also of Girl Recruit Hakot. Today is very special day because publishing English version of Girl Recruit Hakot is my dream. So today is my anniversary day. Thank you for listening to my movie. The work titled Girl, the original version of Girl Recruit Hakot, was published in Japan in 1997. Why have you? Uh, decided to plan to have this work translated into English and uh, make it into movie by yourself. I have some of my works that I desire to get translated into English. My first novel, Innocent World, was translated in 2004 and was sold not only in the United States but also in Italy, Russia, China, South Korea, and so on around the world. Also, it was made into a commercial film, although I was not the director at the time. It was a youth movie featuring teen psyche, wasn't it? The second novel, Girl, is also the work I have been planning for the translation for years. It has been on top of the priority list of the candidates for being translated into English for a quite long time. The works I want to get translated into English are, at the same time, the ones I want to make into a movie. I have a strong urge to write the script and direct the movies of Girl by myself. This is a project with which both the translation and my film direction are actually realized. The works you want to get translated into English are always the ones you want to make into a movies. I also think the work that, had, that element has to be easily accepted by people around the world. You chose the high school girl as the main character of this story. 
as you did so in the first novel, Innocent World. How do you define the beings that are also known as high school girls? In Japan, high school girls attract public attention more than anything else from all spectra of generations. Novelists, movie directors, musicians, just to mention a few. Whatever they do or become, they can create great values only because high school girls have done it. The girls wisely make use of anonymity of high school uniforms, at the same time try to shake off the anonymity. They are the most inspiring and the most exciting being from the mind of view. In this novel, the main character searches for the praise through a telephone dating club that continues such an immoral way of hunting. At the expense of providing sexual services, she threatens and blackmails victims to extort money. Can we say that she is taking advantage of her privilege as a high school girl? Yes, in the strange way of enthusiasm involving high school girls in around 1997, some aggressive girls actually executed such hunting, which is so called in Jokosai assisted dating service. Some males paid large sums of money as much as the girls requested and some surprised the girls so much to buy withdrawing their lifetime saving. I remember it was about the era around which the residue of this country's economic bubble still remained. Yuri, the main character, is a very embodiment, the most extreme example of the girls executing the hunting. Back then, high school girls could get tens of thousands of yen, much more easily than businesswomen in their saddles or housewives in their forties doing the same thing. Are you saying that such privilege of high school girls can be found only in Japan? Young and beautiful girls are revered and adored by the majority of people in any country. Of course, however, in Japan, uniforms give the girls a particularly special symbolism. We can hardly find uniforms for high school students in other countries. If a 70 years old girl is wearing a t-shirt and denim pants, she can't obtain the symbolic meaning. Such girls are just another teenagers. So Yuri in the novel is always wearing a sailor suit, a type of high school uniform in the movie because of the reason having to do with the symbolism. Yes, the sailor suit uniform is the most reliable battle suit for her to survive in the society. In a movie titled Kill Bill Vol. 1, directed by Quentin Tarantino, Chiaki Kuriyama, actress, is wearing a high school uniform while acting as Gogo Yubari, a high school girl and a professional assassin in a movie. High school girls working in Shibuya seem to understand that they get attention and cameras are being pointed at them because they are wearing uniforms. Their value systems are also special. The notion of being kawaii is placed on top of their priority list. The word kawaii includes many positive meanings. Some are beautiful, pretty, cool, up to date, lovely, pure, good, etc. It is a key word that transcends morals and social meanings. Whereas in Chibari expresses the righteousness. I guess being kawaii is the highest or the best priority for the girls. In short, it is a world in which the righteousness of maternal principle prevails. The righteousness of maternity is about being loved and preciously treated by those who surround them. So, Pashu, one and only thing that possesses distinctive beauty and loveliness more than the degree of completeness as consumable. Do you mean that the maternal principle drives the girls? The center of Japanese society is still appeared under the paternal principle that pursues the degree of completeness as consumable. The swing over between the different principle is no small matter. It is not that the trend involving the principles is found only in Japan, is it? Trend can be found in many countries, but Japan is a rare country in which paternal and maternal principles are separated from each other and never fuse with each other. This is the reason why teenage girls in Japan instinctively prefer being kawaii to depending on logic as the only way for them to gain the identities by themselves in construct the pursuing completeness as consumable, the girls desire to be the one and only unique presences. Indeed, the very concept of uniforms represents male chauvinism such as orders and ranks. So Japanese males often sexually respond to uniforms worn by girls. They might be feeling the sense of relief, probably because 
they can fit the teenage girls into their system of the order based on chauvinism. For high school girls, being a kawaii symbolizes the spirit of independence and the sprout of their ego. This is a globally layer case of the conscious structures of the value systems. For that reason, the girl culture in Japan is an object of curiosity and admiration for teenage girls even in Western countries. From this point of view, high school girls embody the social structure in Japan and at the same time, they try to overcome it. I think that is very exciting. That's right. It's the reason why I feel the sense of purpose of writing novels featuring and themes on high school girls. In the movie, Girl Recruits Her God, the main character, a high school girl, recruits her God. I wonder if the girls in that situation consciously feel the religious mindset of, of any sort. I think they don't give a damn about Christianity, Buddhism, or anything like that in particular. Instead, they seem to perceive their religious beliefs in a kind of pantheistic way. For example, one of them might see a stuffed Hello Kitty doll as if it is God. In another case, they may revere pop idols and the main characters of TV animation as God. Yuri, the main character, is always waiting for the junior God for her. What is her God? The wrong theme of this novel. Then you, or the author herself, wrote the screenplay and directed the movie. I'm really looking forward to it. May I ask when the movie will be released to the public? I plan to release it in June, when the bound up version of the novel will be released. The entertainment factor will be very stimulating, while the conclusion will be what people will ponder about. I would like people to enjoy the film along with the novel. Have you already finished the filming? Yes, I have a good feeling about the performance of actors and the visual presentations of the film. It's a story that is structured like a mythology, which contains the universal catharsis that would be enjoyed by people in any countries. The mythology of Japanese high school girls has never been created before. I would like before, especially females, in every country to watch it. I think it is very meaningful that the author herself directs the movie. Girl Recruits Her God is a worldwide project in which the novel and the movie develop simultaneously. We would like everyone to receive this message of the new trend from Japan. Sakurai-san, thank you so much for sharing this exciting moment today. Thank you so much, Mr. Seiryuin.